What's up YouTube? It's Ben with Underrated Garage. Here with my 370. I'm bringing you a fun video today I've been looking forward to ever since I bought this car. Um, one of the only mods it came with was an exhaust. Uh, it's called DNA Motoring. I do not recommend it. I'll insert some clips here. <laughs> So it's time to finally switch it up. I got myself a nice little setup. Not a lot of videos of it out there. I'll be one of the first. Let's check it out. Just unboxed the full exhaust setup that's gonna be going on the car. ISR Performance long tube headers. Deletes the stock header and the cats or test pipes if you already removed the cats. And then Torkin Zorst cat back. Motordyne clone. People say it sounds the same, it's high quality. So I got the mid pipe off, that's the rest of that cat back. All four studs on the cat's snap. Old exhaust is over there, someone's supposed to be picking it up. We took advantage of the time with the exhaust off. We painted this diffuser section of the bumper and we installed the LED smoked fourth brake light down there. Time to get started on the big project though. You can see the passenger side header has some access to get to it there. That's the heat shield right there. The driver's side, about no <laughs> room to get to it. You got AC lines, coolant pipes, harnesses, everything in the way. While these guys work on pulling the cats and the headers, I've been over here scuffing cleaning the new ISRs and now I'm gonna paint them with some heat resistant paint. It was a bitch. The OEM headers and cats are off. And this is what's gonna replace them. Looking forward to it. So we're starting to put on the torque and exhaust. The Y pipes down there. The big resonator pipe. V bands into those mid pipes there and then the muffler sections are all loosely on just to mock everything up obviously this is no how-to video more of a vlog we managed to get those long tubes in the o2s are in extenders are on them just bolted up the y pipe flanges for the exhaust and now i'm working on the v bands of this torque and cat back and then putting the tips on. Clav's up top, putting the air boxes and everything up top back in right now. She's all together and running. The cold start was crazy, but the warm idle is not bad. Here's the pipes. Um, the tip fitment was a pain in the ass. So we actually had to space out the brackets up there with washers to make them able to sit without melting the bumper. I'm gonna put this thing on the ground. We're gonna take it out and hear it. Clav's whipping right now. What do you want? You want straight pull, dump it? Just, just ease into it at first, but then just give it the full fucking beans.
windows up now, we're cruising. As you were just hearing, it was screaming when we're doing the pulls. And the drone and like daily drivability is super good. It was a shitty long day of work. I appreciate Clav and Kaylee for helping me out with it. All worth it now. I'm gonna be enjoying this car all summer and for years to come. Pulls better on the top end. I can definitely tell the difference with the header and it sounds awesome with this exhaust. So hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Fast Intentions and a couple forums have good installation guides for these. Uh, do not try to use this as a guide because there's some stuff we missed showing you. But hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.